Hey my dudes, my name is Cecilia and today I have something a little different for you guys. Instead of baking, we will be sewing my apron. If you've ever watched any one of my videos, you have seen me wearing this apron. Hey my dudes, hey my dudes, hey my dudes, hey my dudes. Every time a video takes off on TikTok, I get like a million questions about where I have gotten my apron from. And the answer is, I made it. Since a bunch of people have asked for it, this video is all about how to sew your own version of this apron. Now, I'm not at all a pattern maker, so this video isn't for a pattern, it's more just an instructional video. All of these measurements I'm about to give you are made for my body. Do you have a large chest and you want the bib to be wider? Cool, widen it. Are you super tall and you feel like this skirt is like really short? Cool. Lengthen it. This apron is just five rectangles sewn together, so take your measurements and adjust accordingly. Let's get started. Materials. You'll need two meters of fabric. There will be quite a bit left over, so I suggest using thrifted curtains or tablecloths. I made my blue apron from linen curtains I was no longer using. And where, may I ask, did they get these, um... Play clothes. I made them from the drapes that used to hang in my bedroom. They still have plenty of wear left. You will also need thread, fabric scissors, and pins, as well as two buttons and a sewing machine. Lay out your fabric. The bib is 23 centimeters wide by 25 centimeters long. The two straps are 100 centimeters long by 14 centimeters wide. The waistband is 176 centimeters long by 14 centimeters wide. And the skirt is 81 centimeters wide by 72 centimeters long. Measure and mark your fabric. Cut out your squares. As I said, there will be quite a bit of leftover fabric, but this way every piece gets cut out whole and doesn't have to be pieced together. Once the pieces are cut out, we can start sewing. Begin by sewing the bottom and side seams of the skirt. I have this handy seam gauge that I like to use. Fold down 1.5 centimeters and iron. Fold in again to create a clean edge and again, iron. Pin in place as you go. Do the same thing on each of the sides. When you get to the bottom seam, just fold over like you've been doing. You could do metered corners here, but I'm not good at that, so I just do it this way. Using a straight stitch, sew the seam. Next, we need to gather the skirt. Base stitch one centimeter from the top. Gather until the top of the skirt measures about 57 centimeters. Set to the side. Now let's work on the waistband. Iron down 1.5 centimeters on either side. Fold the ends right sides together and pin. Sew with a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. Cut off the excess and then flip and press out the corner. Fold the waistband in half and give it a good press with the iron. Find the center of the waistband. Find the center of the skirt. Place the skirt inside the waistband matching up the centers. Pin in place. Sew along the entire bottom line of the waistband to secure the skirt in place and to top stitch the waistband.
Moving on to the bib, we will only be sewing the top and bottom seam. Fold down one centimeter and iron. This is the only place on the apron with a one centimeter seam allowance. It's 1.5 centimeters everywhere else. Pin as needed. Sew the seams. Next onto the straps. They are done the same way as the waistband. Iron down 1.5 centimeters on each side. Fold the ends right sides together and pin. Sew the ends together. Cut off the excess and then turn. Give them a good press with the iron. Now attach the bib to the straps. Place the bib inside at the very bottom of the straps. I like to make sure it's at least 1.5 centimeters inside each side, but you can make the bib wider or more narrow by playing around with how far in the bib is. So all the way around each strap. We are attaching the straps to the bib, but also top stitching all the way around the straps. You don't need to do all this top stitching, but I like the look and I think it helps keep my straps flat and nice. Find the center of the skirt. Find the center of the bib. Match the centers and pin the bib to the skirt. Sew along the top line of the waistband to secure them together and sew the top stitch goes all the way around the waistband. I like to back stitch where the bib begins and ends to add a bit of strength. Now let's add some buttonholes. Mark where you want them to be on the back of the apron. I like them five centimeters from the skirt. Sew the buttonholes. Use a seam ripper to open. Next, decide on button placement. This would be easier with a friend, but you can do it by yourself if need be. I tried on the apron and then just pinned the straps down where they felt best. The straps are meant to cross, but you don't have to if you're not into that look. Carefully take off the apron. Sew on the buttons. And voila, you have a handmade apron. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next week, we will be back to our regular scheduled programming of baking. But if you like this week's video, then please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope that you have a great week and that I'll see you around next week. Hey, Doa.